Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. We've got some incredible announcements this week, including AWS WAF now has new comprehensive logging functionality. Code Build now has the ability to manage multiple input sources and artifacts. AWS Glue now supports encryption at rest. Kinesis introduces a new capability for time series analytics. And we announce the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Krunenberg. And me, Faye Ellis. So AWS WAF now supports full logging of all web requests it inspects. And if you don't remember, WAF is the web application firewall, which protects your web applications against common attack patterns like SQL injections and cross-site scripting. So this new feature means that you can now store logs in S3 and keep them for compliance, auditing, and forensic purposes. And you can also integrate the logs with common SIEM, or Security Information Event Management tools, like Splunk or Sumo Logic for really advanced monitoring. CodeBuild now has the ability to manage multiple input sources and output artifacts. And CodeBuild is a managed build service which allows you to compile source code, run tests, and create deployable software packages. And this new feature means that you can now create projects with multiple input sources like S3, CodeCommit, GitHub, Bitbucket, and you can also upload multiple sets of artifacts to one or more S3 buckets. So AWS Glue now supports encryption at rest. And if you're not familiar with Glue, it's a fully managed ETL or extract transfer and load service, which is used to prepare and load your data for analytics. So you can now configure ETL to use the AWS KMS service or key management service to protect your data using encryption at rest. And this is really great news for applications which perform analysis on highly sensitive and confidential data. Kinesis Data Analytics introduces Stagger Windows. And Kinesis Data Analytics is a service which allows you to run standard SQL queries against Kinesis data streams in real time. And it now supports this new feature called Stagger Windows, which gives you the flexibility to aggregate delayed or late data into your initial result set. So you now have the option to produce a delta or an update to your initial result to include any data which arrives late. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week is A, and loads of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Jagan Mohan Anavarapu, and I hope I said the name right then. And uh, Jagan Mohan is a cloud architect in India. So congratulations to Jagan Mohan. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand sign card on the way to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2019. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from us. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud, cloud gurus. gurus. And we'll see you next time.